bought me a new Harbor Freight Central Machinery belt and disc sander. It's a 4 by 36 inch belt sander with a 6 inch disc sander. Um, my shop's been lacking one of these. Uh, I've decided to get the old cheapo model. Um, I guess we'll uh, unbox it and see how things go and do a little product review here. Owner's manual and safety instructions. We're guys, right? We don't need these. But we'll set them aside just in case we do. Got the uh, really cheap little uh, uh, <clears throat> miter gauge here. It's plastic with a little screw with just some a little bit of pressed channel steel. disc with one pad of sandpaper. That's all it's in the box. I heard these can be a little bit difficult to set up and get all all measured in, but uh, we'll see how this goes. I mean, for uh, the price, I couldn't beat it. Couldn't pass it up either, so. One bag that's actually tied. So far the rest haven't even been tied. Oh, they may tied the wrench and the allen key together so it wouldn't lose. So apparently it's a small, a small <clears throat> piece of material on it. They all tie it up. The rest they're just going to put in the bag. A little bitty dust, dust collection port. Got a little flap in here and something says that's not going to be even sucking very good. Alright, first thing I've noticed uh, after unboxing and unwrapping everything is the belt right along here is a little bit worn like it's been rubbing up against something for something brand new out of the box i would not expect that um <clears throat> there doesn't appear to be any dents or any scrapes or anything like that with the the unit itself a uh, little protector right here to uh protect the uh the shaft where the disc bolts on is a little uh marred up but overall it looks like it's in pretty good shape as far as it goes on the shipping so we'll see how uh, things go once I start setting it up. I did notice one other thing here if you look right down through here this thing is not very square. Now it may be a little bit hard to see with the poor lighting but as you can see it's uh, got a little bit off on the, uh, the angle there it's definitely not 90 degrees and you can actually see the what well, looks like a twist in it down through there. All right, step number one on the uh, setup says to set it on its side. I'll put these little uh, rubber feet down here on the uh, corners. And not, not too hard to put those on. Not exactly the easiest thing either, so. So, step two of the directions say to mount the uh, backing disc onto the uh, drive axle here. There's a set screw in here. It's completely round, but there's a flat surface on the drive axle. Uh, so, you can spin that completely if that set screw isn't set. So, we'll try to get it lined up as best as we can with that flat spot. Get it a little bit snug here and kind of rock it back and forth a little bit to get it uh, to fully seat. And then 
turn it down and crank it in a little bit, tighten it up. Now what I did notice is the length of this uh, Allen <clears throat> wrench really isn't very long, so it barely clears this belt guard right here behind the disc, and it kind of scrapes into that. But other than that, it seems to fit pretty good. So uh, the next step is to uh, mount the uh, fence across the top of the dust guard here, uh, basically in this orientation, so that it keeps your workpiece from going back too far. There's two Phillips screws here put in the wrong direction, so you got to kind of pull them out uh, in some way. Uh, and then there's a bolt over here that adjusts the height. And in actuality, I believe these set screws got to go up from underneath here, which could actually get kind of interesting. So we'll see. All right, so I was actually wrong. These set screw these screws to hold the fence on do not go up from the bottom. They actually go down through the plastic into these. So this actually fits underneath that. Um, so we're going to get that taken care of right now. Put the fence on. Being careful not to lose the flat washer or the lock washer. And the little ears right here actually slip underneath of uh, underneath that like that. But first we got to get the adjustable height bolt out of the way over here. And now the tricky part. Putting a small screw into an even smaller hole with a whole bunch of little washers on it. A little bit floppy there, but feeling once uh, this gets in there, it'll help the uh, the fence stabilize itself. I'm using nothing but the tools that they gave me. Is all I'm gonna really try to put this thing together with. Um, obviously, they did not give a screwdriver which isn't anything wrong, but it isn't, doesn't necessarily help you. So that's all adjusted in. Um, whether, or not, whether or not that's flat across there, I guess really doesn't matter. It's more of the, the twist that I'm kind of more concerned about because I normally don't ride my work up against this anyway on a, a previous belt sander I had, but uh, we'll hope that it uh, doesn't get in the way as I'm doing various things. What I find interesting here on the instructions, and yes, I did get them out, we go from setting the, uh, the mounting fence to functions on how to use the various thing, and they show that the, uh, the bed is already set there, but then on the next page, if you flip it over, it actually has continuing setup instructions to actually affix the uh, the tool, the uh, the rest up on there. So I think they got things a little out of order, but other than that, everything's going okay. I used my little tabletop belt sander and disc sander combo here to sand these blast gates down for my or the the gates down for my new blast gates, so that they would slide in and out pretty easy. Um, you can see my other video about those. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description down below. But it actually sanded these really good and really fast. As you can see, I didn't really hook up a, uh, a dust collector to it because, well, I'm in the middle of retrofitting my dust collector, changing it and increasing its volume and its capacity uh, because I was really lacking in the CFM that it really needed to pull uh, the larger variety of chips and stuff that I'm producing nowadays so uh, it's 
barely functional as far as uh, it's only connected to my table saw. I want to get it expanded to a lot of my other stuff again. Uh, but I've got to continue working on my desk collection and actually build it out. But this uh, sander worked really good to sand these down so that they would actually fit within the gate. Uh, I had no problems with it, even though originally I thought there would be a little bit of a twist here. Uh, it laid, the board laid flat and it really, with this 80 grit paper on here, really just chewed these down pretty fast. Um, I'm pretty excited to actually use this. Uh, and we'll see how it goes from there once I really start using it good, hard and good. And uh, of course, hopefully by then I'll actually have this port down here for the dust collected or uh, hooked up to my dust collector so I'm not just spraying sawdust and everything everywhere as I'm sanding. So thank you very much for watching.